Welcome to Solex Academy Tech Talk Channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. My name's Emma and I'm here for Solax Tech Talk channel. We are going to go through a T30 battery issue. So if you're experiencing BMS lost or internal error, we are going to show you how to rectify these issues. You will also find that we have here a X3 hybrid inverter, 15 kilowatt. We have a T3 BMU and three three kilowatt batteries. For the purpose of this video, one of these batteries is falter. We are going to show you how to find which battery is falter and what to do in this scenario. We are now going to turn on our system. So first we shall turn on AC. We shall then locate the battery isolator, which is on the left hand side under this cover. We'll turn on the isolator, press the button, one, two. And at this point you will hear a clunk click with the battery starting. However, our batteries are faulty for the purpose of this video. And as you can see here, we have no lights flashing. In a normal mode, these lights will be flashing green every five seconds. So because we're not working, we now need to just verify that all of our cables are correct, connected correctly. So we'll turn off the system again. And we'll check the communication cable. So we'll start at the inverter first. As you can see here, we have the RJ45 in the BMS port. However, we do not have the IP cap on. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna turn this round. So I'm gonna unplug this from the inverter using the tool that comes with your kit over the cable. So we'll unscrew the screw cap. And then as you can see, this cable was not connected properly. So we'll swap this cable around, take it out of the grommet, put the screw cap end back into the inverter at the BMS port. So we'll unscrew the cap, we'll push out the RJ45 a little bit, and then we'll plug this back into the RJ, uh, the BMS port, push it up a little bit. We're gonna nip the cap, We'll put over the, cape, the, over the cable and we'll screw this up again. So that is now nice and tight. And then we can screw the bottom cap back up to make this IP rated. We'll put this end back through the grommet and into the can port. As you can see, we heard a click and that is now in nice and tight. So we'll use this tool again to go over the cables just to verify that all the comms cables are tight. And as you can see, we've got comms cable from the BMU to your first battery at the top. So comm one, and then comm two will go to your next battery and so on. So we'll restart the battery, battery and we'll restart the inverter first. Battery isolator, button, clunk, click. However, because we know that we have a faulty battery in the system, our lights are not gonna come on. So now we can disconnect the cables so that we can carry out testing to verify which one of our batteries is connected. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. We have disconnected all of our cables from the batteries and we've even disconnected the comms cable so that it is easier for you to see the steps that we're about to take to measure the voltage of our batteries. Here we're going to use the Mega, the Mega X1 tester. We're going to turn on. We need to make sure that we're going to be at DC, which we are. If, however, the tester was in AC, we press this button here to scroll through to DC. We're also going to use a blue and red leads for positive and negative. Red positive, blue negative, obviously. And then please make sure that your tips are G38 approved. So we're going to test the first battery and we need to go positive to the top, negative to the bottom on the right hand side. So we shall go positive right, negative right. And as you can see on our tester, we are 105 volts DC. So this battery is OK. We'll test the next battery. Positive right, negative right. And as you can see, 105 volts DC. We shall now test the third battery. Positive right, negative right. And 
on the tester, we have zero volts. Just to make sure our tester is okay, we're gonna retest the first battery. Positive right, negative right, 105 volts DC. And back to the third battery, just to verify. Positive right, negative right with the tester. And as you can see, we have zero volts DC. So because we have zero volts DC, we know that this third battery is falter. If it was under 80 volts, you can use the TVAT charger. However, we've got zero volts, so we need you to contact your local distributor or contact your local Solax technical department who will offer you further assistance. So now we're gonna reconnect the batteries. So we'll be back in a second. See you soon. Welcome back everybody. As you can see, we have now reconnected our batteries and we've gone into BMS lost mode. BMS lost is your cable from your inverter to your BMU. As you can see here, we've created a fault on the cable so that we can recreate this fault to show you how to rectify it. We are gonna go through your cable connections first. So first here you can see from your inverter to your battery, your CAN cable. Then you go from your comms cable to your CON1, comms2 to comms1 of your last battery. So to rectify this fault, we're gonna disconnect this cable. We would test it with our LAN tester or our continuity tester just to verify that the cables are correct, but we know that they're not. So I'm going to get the cable that I have prepared here earlier or that comes with your inverter. And again, we're gonna unplug the cables from the inverter and from the CAN port itself. We shall throw this away. We've checked this cable and we know this cable works correctly. We're gonna ensure that we have the IP connector first, unscrew the cap. We're gonna push the RJ45 cable out and we're gonna plug it into the machine, ensuring that it says BMS underneath. We're gonna push up, we're gonna nip the cap Tighten the screw cap up, we'll tighten the, the bottom cap up, then we're going to feed this through our grommet of our battery, and we'll plug this end into our can port. Make sure it's plugged in properly with a little bit of a tug test, and then we're going to have a look at our inverter screen, and as you can see, we've now gone into waiting mode. We've now finished checking mode and we're in normal mode. So just to go over the cables and the lights, we have green light, we have the green light because we're in normal mode. When we was in BMS lost, we had a red light or an orange light here. You have the blue lights, which show you the SOC of the batteries. Then we have a green light and a green light, which flash every five seconds because the battery is in normal mode. We're now gonna recreate an internal error fault which is the cables between your batteries for the comms cables. So we're gonna recreate the fault and we shall be back in a minute. Now we are in BMS internal error fault. So BMS internal error is to do with your communication cables between your batteries. We'll go through these step by step. As you can see, so we've got your cable from your inverter to your CAN port. We'll verify with our tool that this is nice and tight, which we know it is. We shall then go through the cables, which are your CAN. Then you have your comms on your BMS to your CON1, COM2 to COM1 of your last battery. And we'll check these, but oh, we've got a fault here. So what we'll do, we'll unscrew the cap, bottom cap of the IP cap, Let's push your RJ45 up. We'll push this back into the comms port, push the whole cap up, nip the screw cap, then we'll use the tool to slip it over the cable and we'll tighten this up. We'll nip and tighten the IP cap at the bottom. And then as you can hear, we've got a clicking sound which is the inverter and the batteries picking up that the fault has been rectified. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for waiting mode and checking mode, we'll just go through these cables. 
So it doesn't matter how tiny your hands are like mine, you're gonna struggle to get your hands in here to tighten these caps up to make sure that the URG45 is plugged in properly, to make sure that your screw cap is nipped and tight, and to make sure that the end cap of the IP enclosure is nice and tight as well. So the best thing to do is make sure that you're connecting your comms cables up first before your power cables so that you can get your hands in, you can get the tool in and you can check that these are nice and tight first, then connect your power cables up. This will save you a lot of issues going forward in your installation. So we're just in checking mode now. We're on countdown, which is 20 second, 26, 24, 23. Just to go through your lights again while we're waiting for the checking mode, we've got your green power light here. You will have a flashing light here, which is for your SOC of your batteries. And then each of the lights on your batteries will flash green every five seconds, just to show that you've got your, every five seconds to show that your batteries are working correctly. And you can hear the clicking now. So we'll come back to the screen. As you can see, we are in normal mode. Batteries are at 41% and we're doing one watt which is negotiable for this machine because we're in a testing phase so i hope you found this video informative and we hope to see you again very soon on our tech talk channel so for, for now goodbye everybody